everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it is that time again. Time for another episode of Mystery Rank Up Theater, where I take up a champion, either a five star to rank five, or a six star to rank two or three. So if you have an idea for who I'm going to take up, leave a comment. Go ahead and guess. See if you can take a wild guess as to who I'm going to take up. And for bonus points, you might even tell me what rank I'm about to take them up. Is it going to be a five star or a six star? If it's a six star, to two or three. So we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. The hood. How many of you saw that coming? All right, so while I'm taking this guy up, I'm going to ask someone to explain why I chose the hood. All right, so take it away. Once upon a time, Kabam decided to make improvements to the hood. The hood was not a bad champion, but he wasn't a very good champion either. So Kabam made him better but they also made him worse. When those who loved the hood saw what Kabam had done, there were mixed feelings to say the least. Some loved the new hood. They loved that now they may find a use for him, but there were those who already loved the hood and found these changes quite disappointing and alarming. They feared that if Kabam was allowed to do this, they would do this to other and who knows where that would lead. Perhaps your favorite champion, the one that you're using right now, may become a victim. Perhaps they would make this champion better by removing some of the things that made that champion the champion you love and use. So, the BAM heard many complaints and wonder of wonder, they listened. They reverted the changes that they were going to make, but promised that they would make new changes in the future. And so this is an investment in a possible new future. Okay, so now we're gonna take Hood for a little spin. All right, so we're gonna head into Realm of Legends and fight Winter Soldier. You can see I'm going in with just the Hood no synergies. Now, at first, I was going to take Hood into some fights where you could see some of his utility. But then I thought, why am I going to do that? Because Hood is going to get a rework. All right, so a little history. Uh, perhaps you are watching this video after Hood has already gotten a rework. But the Hood, he's not a terrible champion. He does have some utility, but his damage is low, and most people don't really use him. But there are a number of people that use Hood, and they like Hood, just the way he is. They just wanted perhaps a little more damage, um, a little bit more utility. So, Kabam decided to rework the hood he's not the worst champion um he's you know probably middle tier and they gave him a lot of nice um goodies okay in his kit he had more damage his invisibility worked a lot differently and a lot of people loved the new hood the only problem is they took away one very important piece of his utility. 
on his special two, the hood can remove existing buffs and then put a fate seal for a little bit of time. That way, uh, they cannot even generate any buffs. So, um, he was useful in certain situations, and those situations are what a lot of people used Hood for. Some of them, they didn't have any other options. Hood was their option. So by removing that, they basically made a new Hood. This was not the Hood that people ranked up. This is not the Hood that people used even though some of the people who didn't use the hood uh, loved the new um, goodies that he got, they were missing the point, okay? A lot of us saw a dangerous precedent being set, all right? And I tried to explain that. I never made a video on it, but I tried to explain a little bit of why that was a dangerous, toxic design philosophy that we were seeing here all right you are taking a champion who's not very he's not terrible okay uh and you rework them everyone is you know expecting a buff but you change them fundamentally people invested time and effort some people invested money in acquiring and ranking up the hood for that utility and they just took that away so basically what they did in essence was they didn't buff hood they made a new hood they took away the old hood and then they gave you a new hood that's not what buffs are expected to be and so a lot of us kind of complained and uh, we warned of the danger of this path, okay? And um, Kabam actually listened. Uh, we had some diehard The Hood fans. Uh, one, Kat Murdoch, she made a very detailed document explaining why this was bad. Now, one of the things that we were hearing at first was that they felt that what they gave Hood outweighed what they took away. But the problem with that was that most of us did not agree. What they gave Hood was great, but it didn't make up for what they took away. Not only that, but there was no need to take it away. No need at all. Um, we, we, we didn't see it as justified, all right? So <clears throat> they listened and they reverted the hood. So what you're seeing right here is the hood back the way he was. And we are expecting the hood to get that rework. Now, we don't know if it's gonna be exactly the same as it was before. Perhaps they feel that now that they are going to maintain uh, or retain uh, his utility on the special two that they can't give him all the other things that they were going to give him we don't know what they're going to do but uh we are looking forward to it now as for me personally i originally ranked up my five star uh the hood we always say just hood but his name is actually the hood um but I ranked up my five star to rank five at a time where a lot of people weren't doing that. And the reason that I did it is because I'm always bringing him along with Ghost. I use Ghost a lot in um, questing, and there were many situations where my rank four hood was insufficient. If he was rank five, he would have done a little bit more damage and it would have helped me out a lot, okay? For those times that I needed him. You know, maybe Ghost was down or uh, it was a fight that Ghost really couldn't do 
and I didn't have any other options. And for those times, I really wanted the hood uh, to do as much as he could. Okay, so of course, I would love to have the hood do a lot more damage. And a lot of the things that they did in that buff, I liked. And I want to see Hood uh, make those a part of his kit. One of the annoying things that I have always found with the Hood is when he goes invisible, it's not 100%. And I'll go for a parry. And if he's invisible, the parry will miss like that, you know? And they'll just keep hitting, and then sometimes they'll hit because his invisibility is not 100%. So that was annoying, but they took care of all of that. So I'm hoping that they do that again. All right? Um, so that was why I took my The Hood uh, up to rank 5. So when I got the 6-star, I have a Ghost as a 6-star. And I have Wasp as a six star. Wasp, I took to rank three. That's how I became Thronebreaker with Wasp. Uh, I took Ghost to rank three. Both of them are unawakened. Then I got the Hood, the final person of that Ghost Trinity as a six star. So I now have two full teams, five star and six star of the Ghost Trinity. Now, Wasp, as a five star, is still ranked four because, of course, I got the six star, so I didn't rank up uh, Wasp anymore. But I got the hood, and then recently I awakened him. Now, his awakened ability currently doesn't uh, do a whole lot, okay? Um, but his awakened ability became very important. Uh, whoops. Uh, his, uh, his awakened ability became very, very important later when they did that other rework, okay? So, uh, we are hoping that in the future, the hood is going to be quite good. Even if he's not, I still want him up there so that now I can stop bringing around the five star and I can just go in with all six stars because Kabam sometimes makes content that uh, restricts you. And so if they make a content that's restrictive and you can only bring in your six stars or something like that, I want to be able to bring in a full six star ghost team. All right. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Um, like I said, I didn't want to really showcase what Hood could do now because when he gets that rework, we're going to do a video and go through all of the new stuff. And then you can perhaps come back to this video and look and see what he does at this point and compare it to what he's able to do after the rework. All right. So take care. Click like. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, about Hood, about the rework, uh, all of that. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.